know that the Spirit comes as a dove. From Genesis 8. But God remembered Noah and all the wild animals and all the domestic animals that were with him in the ark. And God made a wind blow over the earth and waters subsided. The fountains of the deep and the windows of the heavens were closed. The rain from the heavens was restrained. And the waters gradually receded from the earth. At the end of 150 days, the water had abated. And in the seventh month, on the 17th day of the month, the ark came to rest on the mountains of Ararat. The waters continued to obey until the tenth month. In the tenth month, on the first day of the month, the tops of the mountains appeared. At the end of forty days, Noah opened the window of the ark that he had made and sent out a raven. And it went to and fro until the waters were dried up from the earth. Then he sent out the dove from him to see if the waters had subsided from the face of the ground. But the dove found no place to set its foot and it returned to him to the ark where the waters were still on the face of the whole earth. So he put out his hand and took it and brought it into the ark with him. He waited another seven days and again he sent out the dove from the ark. And the dove came back to him in the evening and there in its beak was a freshly picked olive leaf. So Noah knew that the waters had subsided from the earth. Then he waited another seven days and sent out the dove. And it did not return to him anymore. Then Noah built an altar to the Lord and took of every clean animal and every clean bird and offered burnt offerings on the altar. And when the Lord smelled the pleasing odor, the Lord said in his heart, I will never again curse the ground because of humankind. For the inclination of the human heart is evil from youth. Nor will I ever again destroy every living creature as I have done. As long as the earth endures, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night, shall not. And from Matthew 3. Then Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. John would have prevented him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? But Jesus answered him, Let it be so now, for it is proper for us in this way to fulfill all righteousness. Then John consented. And when Jesus had been baptized, just as he came up from the water, suddenly the heavens were opened to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And a voice from heaven said, This is my Son, the Beloved, with whom I am well so there you have it, one final image. After a flood of judgment, a dove brings Noah a sign of new creation in all the branch. It's the sign that judgment will not be the final word. God makes a place for us again, and God makes a promise. He hangs the bow of judgment in the sky like a gunslinger hanging up his six-year. <clears throat> it's no surprise then that a dove descends on Christ as his ministry begins. It too is a sign of new creation and of judgment not being the final word. Because Christ has come in our flesh and stands in the place of sinners, judgment will not be the last word. 
Instead, by grace, there will be a new creation, a place for sinners like you and me in God's newly created world. It is the Spirit in the form of the dove that brings us this good news. So rejoice this Pentecost day. Rejoice in this sign of God's grace, for we are a 